Good morning, friends. Good morning, family. Good morning, lovers of Christ. I hope you are all well rested after a good night's sleep. As we start today, I want us to focus our devotion on living fully in the present moment and cherishing each new day as a gift. Today's topic is the gift of today, living in the present moment. Uh, the scripture for today is James chapter 4, verse 15. James chapter 4, 13 to 15. It says, Come now ye, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Yet, you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. This passage above reminds us that we don't have control over the future. We don't know what tomorrow we hold. Our lives are, are fleeting like a mist that is here on one moment and gone the next. All we have for certain is this present day. Rather than making grand plan for the future or living in the past, God calls us to cherish each moment as a gift to be fully present wherever we are and whatever we are doing. To leave tomorrow in God's hands and trust that it will guide our path one step at a time. We are not even sure of tomorrow. The strength and the purpose of tomorrow is not in our hands, but in the hands of the Creator, who knows everything, the Omini, science, who understands the rage of time and the misery of time. So, you as a man, you as a woman, you as a living being, boasting of what to do tomorrow without first asking for his will to be first coordinated. It's like you are placing yourself above the purpose of his plan for you. It is important, it is of relevance to acknowledge the will of him that sent you to this world, the creator. You need to understand the place of him in your life of his decisiveness on what happened to you or what don't happen to you so when you boast of tomorrow and said yes tomorrow i'm going there tomorrow to make things up i'm going tomorrow to do this with that first asking for his will it's like ranting before your creator is a ranting before your creator and oftentimes it may not all go well. It may not go well with you. You end up losing that plan or end up not getting the right purpose. So it is of necessity to know that as we start our day, my encouragement is to suffer this new day as a blessing. Don't rush through it with your mind on what next. Be fully engaged in each task. And interaction, giving it your own attention. Let us make the most of each moment. Thankful for the wonders of another day. Let us pray. Pray for God's guidance and blessing on their day. We pray for His direction. It was said, when you commit that way unto the Lord, He said, We hold that thy feet when you put the way your plan and purpose in God's hands it will lead your path I hope this devotion has been an encouragement to live in the present moment as a gift from God wishing you all a wonderful day ahead I am Joshua Osatuan eh? and I pray for you this morning that the grace of God will continually speak for you 
in your place of work, in your academic, in your environment, in the place you are coming from, God's grace will speak for you. And you will go higher and higher in life in Jesus' name. I remember my humble self, Joshua Satwami. Please don't forget to also share this to other people. Let them also share in this devotion this morning. As you do so, God bless you.